Welcome to Tansley Paranormal right tonight. I'm not kidding you. This place is pretty terrifying. It is an ex quarry, stone quarry. Uh, I'll just show you there actually. You'll see the kind of thing that they used to do, they used to cut. There we go. And uh, there's several buildings to this place. It's quite a big area. Don't think I'm going to get through all of them, to be fair. But, uh, there is one or two actually a lot worse than the others. And the one I'm approaching now is one of them. Okay, so uh, we're going to check him out. It's just about going dark, and uh, hopefully we get some activity tonight. I don't know. I feel confident tonight for some reason, but you never know. <laughs> Take my torch off because I'll see where I'm going. Oops. First of all, I'm going to have a quick look, walk round. Don't want to spend too long on my own here because um, apparently this is one of the worst affected areas. And also, I want to make sure. There's nobody here. Okay. I'm going to have a little walk around, check it out. And uh, do a couple of visuals on the way around. John and Xavier are with me tonight. And uh, we've got Laura as well, uh, but they're down at the other side, other end. So I thought I'd pick a five, five minutes to have a walk around on my own. Just to see what, just to get a feel of the place really. Turn the cam. Fucking pigeons. Right. Okay. Right, I'm gonna uh, that's quick looking there. I'm gonna have a walk further down, see what's going off down there. Right, okay, I'm not um, I'm not keen on doing places like this to be honest. Uh, I don't know why. But it has a big reputation this place for being very haunted. And uh, I haven't actually asked John which is the worst building. Uh, best, probably best not knowing, to be honest, if I'm on my own at the moment. Right, okay. Just gotta watch the flooring. Hello? Anybody with me tonight? Uh, 
is the uh, usual graffiti around. Not bad actually, it's quite nice. I don't mind graffiti if it's um, if it's good to look at, and that is quite good to look at. So I'm hoping this light, guys, doesn't interfere with the cameras, because um, when I use the GoPro. ticking over there, I don't know what that is. Right, we're heading down to the uh, the other guys. Get down here, we are. Breaking my neck, that's it. It's a bit of an urban place, this bit of an explore place to be fair. And uh, we're trying for all a few visuals in while we're here. Um, I haven't brought a lot of gear with me, but um, I brought enough, I think, to get us through tonight. So here's Johnny's over here. Right, okay, we've got John, Laura, and Xavier. Hello. Are you alright? Yes, yeah, good, mate. Yeah. Just had a little walk round at the top end there. Um, well, what we've just realised is yeah. so uh, obviously, you've never been here before. No. This place has been cleared out. Okay, it, and uh, it looks like because they've opened, the, they've got rid of a load of doors that used to seal it in. Yeah. And they've opened the bottom doors. This isn't going to be here in a few days. Yeah. Really. Literally. Really. Yeah, not now. The way it looks, isn't it, Laura? It looks like it's going. Yeah, it they've cleared like it all it's out. They've took all the big structural parts out. Right. And they've opened all the doors up and got rid of all the big shutter doors. So it's going literally. So I think we've chosen the right time to to come, to come here. here. Right. Um. So yeah, definitely. Does that does that location? Uh, do you know what we did in High Green? What we could do, I know it had a fire like last month, month before. But I think it was just perfect night to, training right. sense, so to do here. Yeah, to uh, do here. So we, we're going to remain here. Oh, right? yeah. All yeah, yeah. oh, right, that's all right. Oh, yeah, because so. it's going to be his last chance to ever do it. All right, okay. Um, the history behind this place, okay, hmm. um, it isn't the actual original Bowl Hill Quarry. The original Bowl Hill Quarry is in a place called Paddle, hmm. you know, elsewhere in Derbyshire. But it's on Bowl Hill Lane that was named after the original. Yeah. This is called Realstone Limited. Right. And they used to do all the saw cutting for Bowl Hill Quarry. Oh, and see. so they used to bring the big stones up and cut them. But this place is known in a paranormal community. Uh, everyone's been here and done it. Uh, they do it quite often. And it's because it's got a portal in the bottom building. Right. Um, you know, portals uh, that can bring spirits through quite easy. Okay. And it is very haunted and there's a nasty spirit in the area that I've just took you through, the tunnel area. Oh, yeah, right. Um, so it's always given quite a lot of activity off, so it's always worth doing. And you can get quite hair raising as well. So, I, what I reckon then we do tonight is pick the best places uh, yeah, while we're I've here. I have a theory about tonight. Hmm. What are spirits going to be like if they know this place is going to knock down? Mm. Probably be rehomed. Wherever going to be built here, mm, I don't know. Um, I think if I were a ghost, I would be. I don't know, mate. You, you might build you, a nice, you, free, semi-detached house here, you know. No, but if you think that you've always known it as as, as what it is, and yeah. then uh, we're going to tell them that it's going. Yeah. Well, we'll do that tonight. Yeah, I'm going to play on that. I think to be aware of that though. Yeah. An interesting one, wasn't it? Mm. Well, I've just been up the top side. Seems quite enough, but uh, have a walk up there if you want. Which one? Well, the very top ones up here. There's probably about the furthest we can get. That's where the portal is. That's where the portal is, right. Yeah. That's why I said I didn't want to ask you what was really, which building the, the worst one was yeah. while I was up there on my own. So to I didn't be honest know. with you, even though the portal's in there, it mm. ain't the worst building. It ain't, right. The worst building that you've got is here, the one it's, we're in. Right. Uh, and it's that tunnel area, all this area is the worst one I've got. Right, so it's a good start here then, eh? A very good start. Guys. Okay, uh, okay, guys. We're gonna have a walk around to. Um, I'll actually, I'll just walk behind John. Then we don't sort of uh, get what he's doing his live, and uh, we don't get in or cross each other on his modulations there. Uh, so let me take that camera down. Actually, that's it. That's better.
stick the lights on guys. Uh, it is my first time here, so uh, I don't know what it's like to be honest. John says it's really haunted here. Some good activity. There's a portal somewhere. I don't know where that is. You can the buildings up the top there. So what you might need to do shortly. Uh, that's that's the so you can film that's your dad with the camera. Right. That's it. Right. Do you get me? Yeah. Or Dawn will film for your dad, whatever. What's that? If you want to be on camera. All right, okay. Yeah, there's enough of us to do it for each other anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, no worries. So up here, Paul, hmm. at times on camera, um, movements down the bottom area. Hmm. Now, it were always difficult to kind of pinpoint what it were because there were that much trash and everything in way. But over the last few, uh, when it, obviously since they've been clearing it, yeah. it's, it's a lot clearer. So hopefully tonight, if we do see something, it's going to be very clear. Right. Um, so we might get some decent, and you get a lot of growling and just general movement and stuff down there, don't you? Yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping, mate, we get something special down there. Right. Um, but it's it's very negative, and there were there were several people down there because, uh, and it was it was down to obviously working conditions. Mm. Nothing sinister. Yeah, it's just the, the dust, the amount of dust. What? Yeah. Was, from lot from the cutting well. machines. Well, yeah. Obviously, they used to acid bath the. Uh, Brickwork, didn't they? Oh, all right. And uh, there were there were um, a lot. Of, I remember when Jojo came on a ghost and uh, here first time. She's picked up a man that had uh, got off his face burn. And then when we did some research, it, it had actually happened. Oh, I see. So it was quite interesting to pick up on. Right. Um, so spirits, just to uh, start the ghost on top with. You should know who I am. My name's John. I'm here tonight with my friends. And uh, you'll meet Paul and Zav tonight, who, who are brand new to you. And um, I need to inform you of something. For one of you, I'm going to be happy to do it. For the rest of you, I'm going to give you the opportunity to move you on. This place gets knocked down in a few days. And I want to know how that makes you feel. Because it's going to leave you nowhere to go. The place you've called home for so long is no longer going to be here. It's going to be taken away from you. Now, what call, What type of reaction will that provoke? Whoa. What's up, we got? What did you? I heard something. Yeah, I think he's just been thrown. Really? Throw something out. Was that otherwise then? Yeah. No, I heard that. I thought it was clear. Was it anything? Would you like to throw something again? Another voice then. I heard that. It could come that way. Hey, yeah, sh shut up, Paul. Hey, you're right, I'm always doing it. <laughs> Hello? What's that? It's not raining. It's not raining, no. It's but, it could, but it could be dripping. Where from there, Bob? Right, it's ticking over the other building. I don't know where that came from. The building you actually come into. Yeah. Well, that used to be quite bad originally, that building, but there's not much in there. Right? There used to be a wall in the centre, you see. Yeah. So something was, something has been thrown, very clear actually. And uh, just heard voices as well. That doesn't mean to say there's there's not anybody on the site. I mean, I've been round the site, not seen anybody. Whether there's any urban explorers on, I don't know. I, but I doubt it very much. Yeah. And we so you'd have that coming through that building, down the steps, or through where we've just come in. Yeah. So we'd see all the openers coming in. Right. Well there's definitely nobody here. 
because I've been up the top end and there's nobody here. Give us a reaction, please, of how you're feeling about the news I've just given you. You must have seen all the work that's been taking place, so you know I'm not lying to you. What the? What? what? Yep, I heard that. I thought it come from over there. I was thinking more this end, more this end, but it could be. So to say the room was, isn't it? Yeah. It could be pigeons. I mean, I got startled with a pigeon up the top side. It were a voice though, man. Yeah. Were a voice, were it? I know sometimes pigeons can sound like voices, but mm. there's definitely something. Something, not some noises all this side. I'm gonna have a walk down here, John. Right, this is the uh, area where the, something was thrown. So I'm gonna put you on camera. We, uh, let's have a look around here. If you do see out guys, see anything I don't see, put it in the comments. Send us a, uh, a photo shot if you can. I'm always interested in looking at what you can see and maybe where I can't. Um, I know John's a medium and mediums claim they can see spirits. I'm not a medium and I don't see spirits. So you may see spirits. If you do, let me know. Ah yeah. There is dripping coming down there. Yeah, definitely dripping there. It's all wet there. Huh? That's what we're definitely hearing, some of that. But something was thrown in this area, guys. Um, but anyway, I think we'll move on to uh, a different area. Okay. Uh, let me stick the light on because Laura's seen a figure walk down here. And we can walk down here, see what we can find. And uh, you never know. So it must have walked through here. I don't hear much at all. Tell me name. Into here. Okay. Hello, my name is Paul. Don't worry about the other guys. They're doing a little test to see if they can hear anybody. You can actually speak to them through that. You could also speak to me direct if you'd like to do that. Would you like to tell me a name, please? Would you like to come forward? Say hello to me. I am alone in this section. I sometimes think this light actually interferes with the camera. Send it off. 
Okay. It's a bit better. Turn the camera on guys, so you can view what I'm, what I'm actually looking at. I can hear footsteps down here. Oh, it's Xavier. Okay. Well, I'm going to join the other guys, so... If you'd like to have a quick say hello to me while I'm on my own in here, before you join the other guys. Ah. What was that? Right, I heard a noise in that corner there. Are you in this room? Can you move something on the floor? Right, John shout in there. Yeah. Right. Have you caught something? person. Well I've had a walk down here. There's definitely nobody down here. Yeah. Alright, Sorry about uh, the rough camera work there. Um, trying to get the lights sorted out. To make sure it doesn't actually interfere with the camera. Hey. Some people must have magically appeared there then, Laura. Yeah. For fuck's sake. What are we looking at here? There's people, mate, the voices. There were voices here. And then it just appeared there. Okay. I will have them all on camera. Whose voice is over there? Yeah. I see torches as well. Right, okay. We'll just find out who these people are. Right guys, we've just come up them stairs as I've just shown you and uh, there's a couple of rooms up here actually so I think we're going to do a little bit of uh, um, a session in here. Uh, it's, a, it's a great room actually, just right for what we want to do. And, uh, wow! I am shocked to say. We just worked out how I call. You what, mate? It must have been covered up with stuff and they cleared it out, haven't they? Must be, yeah, it must have been. Ah, it, it was clear. I, bu I just bumped into it having to walk around toilets. Well, we've got somebody decent to investigate for a while, and we can do tunnel yeah. fixed at night, so we don't have to worry about signal. Yeah, yeah it's all right in here, isn't it? I feel pretty comfortable in here. So, guys, what I've done, I've set three cat balls up and uh, a rim pod. <coughs> They're all close together, and... Uh, also put a, uh, a cat ball right at the top of the stairs here. I'll just run back around there. 
Okay, uh, I've got the K2 meter on the windowsill. And there, standing alone. Let's hopefully uh, we'll get some activity on that. John's doing a live. Are you alive, John? K2. You doing? Are you alive now? Are you alive? Yeah, it's just on my subs. Right. Are you, are you alive, Xavier? Supporters. Right, okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to pass this on to Laura in a minute. So what Before reading have we got there, Laura? 0.2. Oh, no. base readings. Uh, no I've point just two. set up the NALREM as well. Laura's uh, done. Put it top of stage, mate, where you are. Yeah. So NALREM will pick up uh, temperature fluctuations and EMF detection. It's like a REM pod, but on steroids. Right. I'll uh, tell you what, I've got one of them, John, as well, and I can't get it working for some reason. You've got a, a, a no rep. Oh. Yeah, I've got one of them. Mate, you might have to it. You've got it, you don't use. Well, well, I can't get any power on mine. I know why. You know the top red area at the top? Yeah. You have to pull it out and plug it in the other way, mate. Ah. Put it out there and I'll show you how to use it. Right, okay. I've just remembered I've got those screws in the bottom. We can get them all out. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I hit them down. They're not serious, mate. We're okay. There are some kids around um, yeah. outside, so we do know about them. Uh, so if you're doing any voices, we'll uh, we will consider that. Right, we're going to have to obviously write up any voices with it yeah. because there's people in the area, but any other activities yeah. can take us. Um, so for a little bit, I'm going to hand over to Laura, and the reason being just in case Paul needs to investigate with me, and so I can take on this film for us. Okay. Um, and then the important news from the investigator. Yep, can do. Yeah. Okay, tell you what, you've all missed him. We're going to put Xavier on the camera. This goes against our standards. There you go, Zav. Ooh, first time using the goods and pocket. Services. You're right, everyone. Look at that, you know that I'm smoking. You can just turn the camera Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. I'm professional with these. I've only used them. I've not even used them once, oh, first time. To stay on. We just come up with it. So it's restricted me. Okay. Someone's reported it, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to spy in the subs anyway. Yeah. Report away spying subs, because all's yeah. changing soon. Fuckers, you're not going to be able to spy us anymore. <laughs> you know, then Laura Explorer. All yours, mate. Thank you. Uh, Alright, so I'm back in. A little bit. Spirit Talker, uh, you got your phone? Yeah. Because mine's on live. You want the Spirit Talker on? Yeah, leave that one in because you always get a good success from that. Right. Just for, uh, you want to start recording on? Done Just for the sake of both cameras, me and Paul are both from the same ethos that we don't like apps. They're all theoretical. Uh, some apps work, some don't, but they're always good to have on in the background in case they do hit gold. Yeah, work. I think they make them interesting, and I think yeah. the viewers actually like them. Yeah, the viewers well. like them, but we would never say that they are definitive evidence. Yeah. Once we have this running on background, then I'm going to get Laura to hold it in her hands uh, while she's got the live stream because she can shout out anything that dead relevant comes through. And it's yeah. the, oh, I'm just make sure it's the right one. And this is the Ovalis, uh, Paratech Ovalis. And it's, uh, I've got it on words mode, so it'll bring up any relevant words that are to it. So just shout out who you get. Okay, we've got need help. Somebody needs help. So let's start with that one then. Who needs help? Let me know. If you brought me this one, I've got one here. So we have a crack at it. I reckon so. We'll go on camera, won't it? Yeah, we'll do that. That could be a first on my sh my show. Spirit, is the reason you're asking for help? Is that because you know that this place is getting demolished? Is it because you know it's getting demolished and you know that you need somewhere else to go? Because we can help you. We can move you on. Wait. In a corner. Behind you. There were movement in a corner. You got it, I mean. Yeah, I yeah. Thank you for that acknowledgement. Okay. So the spook talk is quiet. Breaking wheel. And breaking wheel. 
the, the, all the he's in the concrete wheels that's outside. Oh, the grindstone. There's concrete wheels, actually, could be ladder, couldn't it? Could be, then, yeah, breaking wheels, yeah. Could you make another one? I hate what I did. I hate what I did? Could you say something uh, relevant to the room we're in? Or could you make a noise within this room? There's a nice wall there in colour. What colour is that wall? Can you tell me that? Ignoring the graffiti. I've got the K2 meter on the window. Horrible sir. things happened here. You walk near the K2 meter where Laura is. You could make the lights change colour. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Have it changed? Well done, Laura. Can you set it off again whilst we're paying attention? We can't even say it was anything we've got on us because it would be constantly there, wouldn't it? Yeah, is that first light on, that green light on? Yeah. yeah. Let's see from this angle. I think it's just the amount of light that's on it. Yeah. Can you touch that device that's ticking? Yeah, there we go. Oops, the yellow. Well done, thank wow. you very much. Show. Yeah, please show us. Show us how to do it. You're doing a good job of that. Send it up to yellow. There's some party going off somewhere. I don't think it's close, it's close by as we think. No. I think the good thing is we just any voices we hear tonight we just disregard. Mm -hmm. Anything else is fine. Okay, we still at no point one, two, three, two. You've got very vapor you tonight. Yeah, but it's not as strong as it used to be. Vortex. Please, sir. You've never seen the vortex on camera, have you? No. I'll do that tonight as well. Okay. <coughs> Hello, we've got a Lisa here. I would imagine this was some sort of admin room. Up here. I would almost certainly say it's an The thing is, I can say different times. Why would you have to walk through toilets and shower box to get to it? Right up here. I don't think you necessarily did, I think it's a wall that probably... Well, I said there's another way into this, we yes. like went through that. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. You have to this go through the door all the way along. You know when we, where we come out? Oh, from outside? I yeah, trust from outside. No there. Okay, I'm glad you trust me. You can trust all of us, actually. We are friends. And uh, thank you for setting the K2 meter off. If you can do that again, that'll be great. There's a machine next to it, it's called an EMF... E Trifield meter. Trifield meter. Oh. Ah, oh, here we go. Thank you very much for that. Excellent. Thank you very much. Very good. We do appreciate that very much. I'll ignore the last word that came out. <laughs> oh, there, there we go. Right, I think what we need to do, John, is just convince the viewers that your that machine next to it isn't actually kicking it off. Yeah, I know of it kicked off before you put that in. Yeah. Well, basically, anyone you can do research. Anyone can do research on trifield meters. <laughs> the only difference between these two meters are um, is that this looks for different energy sources. So they are the same kind of thing. This is just a lot more precise. Yeah. So um, these literally, you're supposed to. In theory, when you go into a room and you're using a K2 meter, you're supposed to calibrate them Tommy. for every situation you bummed out. That's why when you see people walking around with them like this, they don't work. When you're supposed to do like figure of eight, roll them forwards and roll them sideways, and that's when they work. Whereas a trifield meter fully calibrates itself at all times, so it's already calibrated, and that's why it's called a trifield. Um, so they're exactly the same one, but they're not other than this has got a more precise meter on it. 
um, so they wouldn't affect each other, but fair point, that's me. Yeah. I can separate them all. So for anyone that doesn't understand it, um, it would show it. No. There's absolutely no power in this building and what's going on. No, no, not for a long time. And just to eliminate one other thing, Paul, mm. uh, as, as I've told you before, some frequencies like radio stations, phone signals, wireless signals, and that can set off EMF. Yeah. This picks up one of the frequencies. If you take it to RF mode, which is radio frequency, right, cool. this can set off EMF. So if I turn it to radio frequency, look at that. 0.09 so that it's got no radio frequency right. that's setting it off so it can't even be classed as radio frequency <laughs> that's doing it so we can eliminate like mobile phones and stuff okay we've got black eyes now i've got black eyes and about me not black eyes the black down the eyes well it's called black wood in the area so. could you say one of our names we've got john Got Laura, Xavier, and Dawn, and me, Paul. Could you come up with one of our names, please? Okay, two is going off again. Yeah. The K2 is going off, guys, um, as you can see. Xavier's got the camera on it. And, uh, I think Laura's doing a live. Are you alive, Laura? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I, I don't want to keep asking you to do that. Um, but thank you anyway. So what we can do is we put a third one in place. This one uh, does it on a, this another frequency, but it will operate more on a milligauss level. So it will. It, it's, an, it's another powerful EMF detector. Right. Just so it all. So we know all three are working. Especially since we're getting EMF spikes. Are you okay two meters over here, John? Yeah. There is so a we, know, we know there's nothing saturated in the whole area. Hmm. But the fact is we've got three really advanced, well we've got three good pieces of kit over there all displaying EMF activity. Yeah. Do you want to come over this side and set this K2 meter up? My head. Would you like to do that? I just want to remind you about the guy that was picked up originally that had acid covering his, his left hand side of his head, and that was from this part of the building, wasn't it? Right. So, uh, was his name Dennis? I'm not sure, I wasn't here on that one. Okay. Um, the one that's keeping us moving now, so I'm just going to. Carriage! Sorry, I'm just going to. Where's where you stand, John? Oh, Rip, I'm not. You can see the set of that, John. Like an engine, mate. I think I've only known it to go off once or twice. It's good. I've not been in very long time. It didn't go off at um, Reed School as well. We went off. And Ash House. Ash House, Ash House as well, there. So it's not very often it does, it does go off though. So when that goes off, I get impressed. A good round, I shouldn't. Is it still running? Trying to reconnect, I was waiting. Just press finish, a little bit. Yeah, I was waiting to tell them more. Cheers, mate. What am I doing on the mic, mate? The forest. Uh, it's a pig that when you when you do a live and you can't get signals. Only problem with live streams, mate. We used to, you know, we used to find new locations, we used to have to go wreck and do signal tests, everything there, and I know. When I could just rock up and just film. Yeah. So, spirits, thank you for working with us so far. But we need something a bit more solid. Like a big bang in this room or something. Solid. All right. Do you know what? This tiled area here. <coughs> this what? Tiled. Tiled area. So I'm wondering if this is like a, like a dressing room. Well, it says wash, wash hands on wall. Yeah. 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 So yeah. like a yeah, shower. Like an extension yeah. from downstairs. Yeah. Could well be. I mean that, I don't know. But yeah, I'm guessing this is a shower. Yeah. Wash hands and that looks like a, I don't know. There's no toilet system, is there? No. Okay. Um. 
Nu kom bag. Well, yeah, I'm all about here. Okay. Maybe I'll be catching that break from your time. Right, um, what about we uh, ignore all the kit mm -hmm. and crack on with Ouija board and see what happens? Yeah. yeah. Have you guys ever done a Ouija board? Uh, uh, I've, I've, I don't think I've done one properly. I've done one. The way you'd be your best place to do it. Maybe I'll win this one. How many on it? Three or two. We've got the tables, the table chairs. Stools. Yeah, stools. So we can put it on there. Yeah. Oh, that might be so if you want it higher, you can put one top of each other. Yeah. That might be a really good idea. Right. If you want to get them moving on there, don't it? Uh, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Happens <laughs> all the time. I always get... We'll just have to get the stools just so he's not on his own. And I'll... Right. Yeah, 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 Dad, do you want to take this camera? Have you took it? Have you stopped, stopped it? No. Stopped it. Not that I'm bitter or anything. No. Thanks. I'm over it, you know? So guys, we are going to be doing a Ouija board. Um, I need to get where your lights aren't flashing everywhere. I'll come same time as you. Before I come same time. You want to be turning that off, don't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll turn your torch off and off, Paul. Yeah. Alright. Keep my blinders. Where's Paul and Bill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! That's mine. I'll let Scott turn my light off. Right. Yeah, you can right. light off mine, can't you? Okay. Yeah. Right, so. What we have to do, guys. If you was able to do stuff in an anti-clockwise, it'd open up negative. But at the moment, we're just going to open up positive. Can you think of that? Yeah. No, that way, mate. Yeah, I know, I just do it because I don't want to... It's fine. We need your energy on it, mate, so you need to be touching it. Right. Yeah? And never put your ring finger on it that hard that it's hard to move it. for it to move. Do you get me? Just press it on. Yeah. Right, so what we do, clockwise, for each person on the board, so three times round. So... One, two, three. And then you introduce yourself to the board. Good evening, spirits. My name is Laura. Dad. Good evening, spirits. My name is Paul. Good evening. My name is Xavier. What we're going to do, we're going to show you how to use the board. So we've got the letters A through to M. Oh. Sorry. Thank you. And then the letters N through to Z, and then we've got the numbers one through to zero down at the bottom. We've got yes up here, and now up here, and then we've got goodbye at the bottom. Is there anybody that would like to come forward and communicate tonight? Give us the first letter of your name. Or just move the planchette if oh, you're not strong yeah. enough, yeah. He's going. Shit. I'm just not too sure if that's my handshake. No, it's not, mate. You're not resting your hand on it enough. Hey. Look at that. Honestly, Suzanne, I can see your hands actually lifted off it, mate, so it's not you. Yeah. Give us the first letter of your name, please, through the eye. That one, me. Yeah. Do you. I think we're fine with board not moving as long as my sleeve don't hit it. Okay. Keep going for a spirit. Through the eye so we can see, please. W. Take it back to the centre, please. Thought you meant me for a second there. Take it back into the middle. Wow. Thank you. Can you give me the second letter of your name then? Now I know that's real because there's three people I trust on that board. 100%. I still don't know if it's my hand shaking. It's, mate, it's not. <laughs> your hand shaking can't direct it in ways like that, trust me. X. X. Okay, Spirit, let's do something a bit more accurate. If you're there, take it to yes. Just so you can prove that it's just not random movement. Take the planchette to yes. He's trying to move. Yeah. Take it all the way to yes. Yeah, that's going to Y. It's up here, look, on this part of the Ouija board. Take it there for me. Take it to yes. 
Do you know the direction where I've just pointed? If you need our help, you're going to have to work with us. It just keeps saying why. Alright. Let's do it a different way. If you think that's your level of yes, take it to the number one. Spirit, stop messing. Take it to the number one, otherwise we're going to say goodbye. You can see my hand is physically not. I know, it's not even touching it. <laughs> Take it to the number one, or we'll say goodbye. Oh, Alright, what we'll do is keep your hand on it for a second. Yeah, keep your hand. And then uh, physically take it to goodbye, guys. Right. Right. Goodbye, Spirit. And what we're going to do is, uh, Spirit, move away from the board now, we're going to invite someone else in. Do you want to let Dawn on it? Yeah. If you're, let, yeah, you go on it, don't let us have film, and then we'll see what happens. It won't be <laughs> moving that side, I promise you, mate, because it was a bit too specific. Right. It's a shake. <laughs> right, we Ready? need to do it again. So three times again from you guys. You don't need to introduce yourself, well, I would actually, because Dawn's on the entry. One, two, three. Hello again, Spirit. My name is Laura. Hello again, my name's Paul. Good evening, my name's Don. You've just seen us how to uh, show you how to use the board. I'm sure I don't need to show you again. Could you send it to yes for me if you're here? We're going to call forward any spirits. You're more than welcome. You know this place is getting demolished. It's your last chance to communicate with anyone. We can move you on if you require it. But we need you to communicate. is wanting to move. Move it, spirit. Move it to yes for me. There we go. It's going. Keep going. Use more energy, please. Well done, thank you so much. Come on, keep going, use our energy. Keep going. Keep going. Sorry, I keep knocking you off course. Apologise. Stop trying to hover your finger so much. We've seen it's not you. Just rest your finger on it. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Can you give us the first letter of your name, please? F. Is that correct? What about the second letter? That's going where I think it's going. Hmm. I'm probably thinking the same. Oh? Yeah. yeah. You tell me, are you going to spell out the name Frank? Take it to yes if that's the case. Thank you, Frank. Can you tell us how old you are? Use the numbers at the bottom. Frank, use the numbers at the bottom. Tell me how old you are, please. Or how, how old you were when you passed away. Mm. You don't want to. 
No. Which was meant much to tell you quick. Okay. Is this some? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. What do you want to tell us? He. F. Are you telling us <laughs> that this is too much effort? No. Are you telling us to F off? <laughs> is that correct? You did it in a very polite way if you did. Frank, would you like us to leave you alone? Yeah. Well, you came and played on our Ouija board. <laughs> Alright, send it to goodbye then, Frank, if you want to move away. It does make your arm ache, doesn't it? Yeah, it does a bit. Oh. Do it with your cock ball. <laughs> fucking God's sake. <laughs> okay, oh, goodbye then. Goodbye. Friend. Just say goodbye, Paul. Yes, goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Interesting. Ah. Oh, okay, you still feeling? Yeah, okay. So, that's really, I've, I actually have used the Ouija board before, but uh, never in this sort of condition. So, um, it was interesting. And, uh, whether you believe in them or not, um, who knows, you know, did we get a spirit going through? <coughs> only, uh, only the spirit will know that. So, John. Um, well, I'm still on the fence with uh, Ouija Balls, mate, because I'm still, uh, I know too much about the idea of entering there. Yes. Spirit Balls, so Ouija Balls can be real, and Spirit Balls can be real, but so can the human mind, the language you know you can move a bunch yet. Um, maybe, is what I'm going to say. There are spirits around, I can feel them. They're not as communicative tonight as I thought they would be, but we still got some time. Yeah, so tonight uh, the K2 meter was going through. Just yeah. coming to the light a bit, Dad. Oh, yeah. Do you want to put the light on? Oh, right, I oh. thought about that. Yeah, well, I thought that's all. <laughs> right, the K2 meter was uh, doing a, a wheelie, so um, a wheel, wheel, that's very good. It doesn't often do that. Um, and there was nobody around it, there's no electricity, so I'm quite content that there possibly might have been some force around the K2 meter. Um, the REM pod's not doing anything, it's not gone off at all, so the, the cat balls either, the nominum have gone off, so uh, a negative on that, but we'll see anyway. So I think that's about it from tonight, um, it, time's getting on a bit, and uh, I was going to say we might come back here, but I don't think we're going to be getting a chance to. I think we're going to demolish this place very, very soon. So, from uh, where are we? We're at um, what is known as Bowl Hill Quarry, even though it isn't Bowl Hill Quarry. It's a real stone limiter, which used to do the cut in for Bowl Hill Quarry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's where we are. And uh, thanks for joining us. See you on another time.